And we are back. Jeremiah chapter 49. God's message on the Ammonites. Doesn't Israel have any children? No one to step into her inheritance. So why is the god Milkan, lowercase g, taking over Gad's land? His followers moving into its towns, but not for long. The time's coming, God's decree. When I'll fill the ears of Rabbah, Ammon's big city, with battle cries, she'll end up a pile of rubble. All on sorry, all her towns burnt to the ground. Then Israel will kick out the invaders. I God say so, and it will be so. Wail, Heshbon, I is in ruins. Villages of Rabbah, wring your hands, dress in mourning, weep buckets of tears, go into hysterics. Run around in circles. Your God, lowercase g, Milcom, will be hauled off to exile, and all his priests and managers right with him. Why do you brag of your once famous strength? You are a broken down has been, a cast off, who fondles his trophies and dreams of glory days and vainly thinks no one can lay a hand on me. Well, think again. I'll face you with terror from all sides. Word of the Master, God of the Angel Armies. You'll be stampeded headlong with no one to round up the runaways. Still, the time will come when I will make things right with Ammon, God's decree. The message of God of the Angel Armies on, on Edom. Is there nobody wise left in famous Teman? No one with a sense of reality. Has their wisdom gone wormy and rotten? Run for your lives. Get out while you can. Find a good place to hide. You who live in Didan. I'm bringing doom to Esau. It's time to settle accounts. When harvesters work your fields, don't they leave gleanings? When burglars break into your house, don't they take only what they want? But I'll strip Esau clean. I'll search out every nook and cranny. I'll destroy everything connected with him. Children and relatives and neighbors, there'll be no one left who will be able to say, I'll take care of your orphans, your widows can depend on me. Indeed, God says, I'll tell you, I tell you, if there are people who have to drink the cup of God's wrath, even though they don't deserve it, why would you think you'd get off? You won't get off. You'll drink it. Oh yes, you'll drink every drop. And as for Bozra, your capital, I swear by all that I am, God's decree, that that city will end up a pile of charred ruins, a stinking garbage dump, an obscenity, and all her daughter cities with her. I've just heard the latest from God. He's sent an envoy to the nations. Muster your troops and attack Edom. Present arms. Go to war. Ah, Edom, I'm dropping you to last place among nations. The bottom of the heap kicked around. You think you're so great, strutting across the stage of history, living high in the impregnable rocks, acting like king of the mountain. You think you're above it all, don't you? Like an eagle in its, in its array. Well, you're headed for a fall. I'll bring you crashing to the ground, God's decree. Edom will end up trash, stinking, despicable trash, a wonder of the world in reverse. She'll join Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighbors in the sewers of history. God says so. No one will live there. No mortal soul move in there. Watch this like a lion coming up from the thick jungle of the Jordan, looking for prey in the mountain pastures. I will come up, come upon Edom, Edom and pounce. I'll take my pick of the flock, and who's to stop me? The shepherds of Edom are helpless before me. So listen to this plan that God has worked out against Edom, the blueprint of what he's prepared for those who live in Timan. Believe it or not, the young, the vulnerable, mere lambs and kids will be dragged off. Believe it or not, the flock in shock, helpless to help, will watch it happen. They, the very earth will shudder because of their cries cries of anguish heard at the distant Red Sea. Look, an eagle soars, swoops down. An eagle soars, swoops down, spreads its wings over Basra. Brave warriors will double up in pain. 
helpless to fight like a woman giving birth to a baby. The message on Damascus. Hamath and Arpad will be in shock when they hear the bad news. Their hearts will melt in fear as they pace back and forth in worry. The blood will drain from the face of Damascus as she turns to flee. Hysterical, she'll fall to pieces, disabled like a woman in childbirth. And now, how lonely, bereft, abandoned. The once famous city, the once happy city, her bright young men dead in the streets, her brave warriors silent as death. On that day, decree of the God of the Angel Armies. I'll start a fire at the wall of Damascus that will burn down all of Ben-Hadad's forts. The message on Kedar and the sheikdoms of Hazar, Hazor, who were attacked by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. This is God's message. On your feet, attack Kedar, plunder and Bedouin nomads from the east. Grab their blankets and pots and pans, steal their camels, traumatize them, shouting terror, death, doom, danger everywhere. Oh, run for your lives, you nomads from Hazor. God's decree, find a safe place to hide. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has plans to wipe you out, to go after you with a vengeance. After them, he says, go after these relaxed nomads who lived free and easy in the desert who lived in the open with no doors to lock, who lived off by themselves. Their camels are there for the taking, their herds and flocks easy picking. I'll scatter them to the four winds, these defenseless nomads on the fringes of the desert. I'll bring terror from every direction. They won't know what hit them, God's decree. Jackals will take over the camps of Hazor, camps abandoned to wind and sand. No one will live there, no mortal soul move in there. The God's message to the prophet Jeremiah on Elam at the outset of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah. This is what God of the angel army says. Watch this. I'll break Elam's bow, her weapon of choice, across my knee. Then I'll let four winds loose on Elam, winds from the four corners of the earth. I'll blow them away in all directions, landing homeless Elamites in every country on earth. They'll live in constant fear and terror among enemies who want to kill them. I'll bring doom on them, my anger-fueled doom. I'll set murderous hounds on their heels until there's nothing left of them. And then I'll set up my throne in Elam, having thrown out the king and his henchmen. But the time will come when I make everything right for Elam again, God's decree. Jeremiah chapter 50. The message of God through the prophet Jeremiah on Babylon, land of the Chaldeans. Get the word out to the nations, preach it, go public with this, broadcast it far and wide, Babylon taken, God bell, small, lowercase g, hanging his head in shame, God Marduk, lowercase g, exposed as a fraud, all her God idols, lowercase g, shuffling in shame. All her play gods, lowercase g, exposed as cheap frauds, for a nation will come out of the north to attack her, reduce her cities to rubble, empty of life, no animals, no people, not a sound, not a movement, not a breath. In those days, at that time, God's decree, the people of Israel will come and the people of Judah with them, walking and weeping, they'll seek me, their God, they'll ask directions to Zion and set their faces toward Zion. They'll come and hold tight to God. Bound in a covenant eternal, they'll never forget. My people were lost sheep. Their shepherds led them astray. They abandoned them in the mountains. Where they wandered aimless through the hills, they lost track of home. Couldn't remember where they came from. Everyone who met them took advantage of them. Their enemies had no qualms. Fair game, they said. They walked out on God. They abandoned the true pasture, the hope of their parents. But now, get out of Babylon as fast as you can. Be rid of that Babylonian country. On your way, good sheepdogs, lead, but don't you be led. Lead the way home. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm rallying a host of nations against Babylon. They'll come out of the north, attack and take her. Oh, they know how to fight, these armies. They never come home empty-handed. Babylon is ripe for picking. All her plunderers will fill their bellies, God's decree. You Babylonians had a good time while it lasted, didn't you? 
You lived it up, exploiting and using my people. Frisky calves romping in lush pastures. Wild stallions out having a good time. Well, your mother would hardly be proud of you. The woman who bore you wouldn't be pleased. Look at what's come of you. A nothing nation, rubble and garbage and weeds, emptied of life by my holy anger. A desert of death and emptiness. Travelers who pass by Babylon will gasp, appalled, shaking their heads at such a, com a come down. Gang upon Babylon, pin her down, throw everything you have against her, hold nothing back, knock her flat, she's sinned. Oh, how she's sinned against me. Shout battle cries from every direction. All the fight has gone out of her. Her defenses have been flattened. Her walls smashed. Operation God's Vengeance. Pile on the vengeance. Do to her as she has done. Give her a good dose of her own medicine. Destroy her farms and farmers. Ravage her fields. Empty her barns. And you captives, while the destruction rages, get out while the getting's good. Get out fast and run home. Israel is a scattered flock, hunted down by lions. The king of Assyria started the carnage. The king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, has completed the job, gnawing the bones clean. And now, this is what God of the angel armies, the God of Israel, has to say. Just watch. I'm bringing doom on the king of Babylon and his land. The same doom I brought on the king of Assyria, but Israel I'll bring home to good pastures. He'll graze on the hills of Carmel and Bashan, on the slopes of Ephraim and Gilead. He will eat to his heart's content in those days, and at that time, God's decree, they'll look high and low for a sign of Israel's guilt, nothing. Search nook and cranny for a trace of Judah's sin, nothing. These people that I've saved will start out with a clean slate. Attack Marathime, land of rebels. Go after Pecot, country of doom. Hunt them down, make a clean sweep, God's decree. These are my orders, do what I tell you. The thunderclap of battle shakes the foundations. The hammer has been hammered, smashed and splintered. Babylon pummeled beyond recognition. Recognition. I set out a trap and you were caught in it, O oh Babylon. You never knew what hit you. Caught and held in the steel grip of that trap. That's what you get for, t uh, for, talk for taking on God. I, God, opened my arsenal. I brought out my weapons of wrath. The master, God of the angel armies, has a job to do in Babylon. Come at her from all sides. Break into her granaries. Shovel her into piles and burn her up. Leave nothing. Leave no one. Kill all her young Turks. Send them to their doom. Doom to them. Yes, doomsday. The clock has finally run out on them. And here's a surprise. Runaways and escapees from Babylon show up in Zion reporting the news of God's vengeance, taking vengeance on my own for my own temple. Call in the troops against Babylon. Anyone who can shoot straight, tighten the noose, leave no loopholes. Give her back as good as she gave. A dose of her own medicine. Her brazen insolence is an outrage against God, the holy of Israel. And now she pays her young strewn dead in the streets, her soldiers dead silent forever god's decree do you get it mr pride i'm your enemy decree of the master god of the angel armies times run out on you that's right it's doomsday mr pride will fall flat on his face no one will offer him a hand i'll set his towns on fire the fire will spread wild through the countryside sorry through the country and here's more from god of the angel armies the people of Israel are beaten down, the people of Judah along with them. Their oppressors have them in a grip of steel. They won't let go, but the rescuer is strong, God of the angel armies. Yes, I will take their sides. I will come to their rescue. I'll soothe their land, but rough up the people of Babylon. It's all out war in Babylon, God's decree. Total war against people, leaders, and the wise. War to the, war to the death on her boasting pretenders. Fools, one and all, war to the death on her soldiers, cowards to the man, to a man. War to death on her hired killers, gutless wanderers. War to the death on her banks, looted. War to the death on her water supply, drained dry. A land of make-believe gods, lowercase g, gone crazy, hobgoblins. The place will be haunted with jackals and scorpions, 
night owls, and vampire bats. No one will ever live there again. The land will reek with the stench of death. It will join Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighbors. The cities I did away with, God's decree. No one will live there again. No one will again draw breath in that land. And now watch this. People pouring out of the north, hordes of people, a mob of kings stirred up from far off places, flourishing, deadly weapons, barbarians they are, cruel and pit pitiless, roaring and relentless, like ocean breakers they come riding fierce stallions in battle formation, ready to fight you, daughter Babylon. Da Babylon's kings, hear them coming, king, hears them coming. He goes white as a ghost, limp as a dishrag. Terror stricken, he doubles up in pain, helpless to fight, like a woman giving birth to a baby. And now watch this, like a lion coming up from the thick jungle of Jordan, of the Jordan, looking for the prey in the mountain pastures. I'll take over and pounce. I'll take my pick of the flock and who's to stop me? All the so-called shepherds are helpless before me. So listen to this plan that God has worked out against Babylon, the blueprint of what he's prepared for dealing with Chaldea. Believe it or not, the young, the vulnerable, mere lambs and kids will be dragged off. Believe it or not, the flock in shock, helpless to help. Watch as it happen. When, he sh when the shout goes up, Babylon's down. The very earth will shudder at the sound. The news will be heard all over the world. Amen.